Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm your host, Kelly Thomas, and I'm here to bring you the tools you need to build the business of your dreams. How do you go about making crochet your full-time job? Well, it takes a bit of honesty and a strategy. It is perfectly possible to make crochet your full-time job. And when I say full-time, I don't mean nine to five, five days a week, 50 weeks a year. I mean earning a full-time income however many hours that looks like. And I'm not saying something daft like 70. If you want to earn a full-time income from crochet, but only work 10 to 15 hours a week, that is possible. It takes work. It takes a good strategy. It takes organization, but it is possible. But how do you do that? You do it by being very selective and you do it by acknowledging that you cannot do this by selling what you make. You can still sell what you make, but you cannot just do that. It is not sustainable long term to just sell what you make unless you are selling to the luxury market and can sell your pieces for hundreds of pounds or dollars with every sale. So you've got to go online. So we're talking blogs, podcasts, YouTube channels, merchandising, courses, memberships, subscriptions, patterns, printables, anything that you can do the work once and sell that product over and over again. You only have to create the product once. And then that file or video course, whatever it is, you sell it over and over. It's recurring income. And that is how you do it. And there are so, so many ways that this is possible. And you don't have to do it the same way as anyone else. So when you're looking at how others have made crochet their full-time income, you tend to come up against the big names. Crochet Crowd, Moogly, Marley Bird, Crystals and Crochet. These are the names that come up. And although these four are very different from each other, They all follow the same model, and that is they have a massive social media following, they've teamed up with a yarn brand, and they release lots of patterns every year. You don't have to do it this way. This is the way that's worked for them. And absolute hats off to them, they've done an amazing job. But maybe you don't want to be churning out crochet pattern after crochet pattern. Maybe you don't like being on social media a ton of times a day. Maybe you don't want to be stuck using just one yarn brand because that's who you've teamed up with. Maybe you want other options. You can do it your way. If your business becomes a chore, if you are doing things, activities, blogging or YouTubing, but you don't enjoy it, This is a recipe for things not working. The thing about working for yourself is that you have to motivate yourself. There is no one prodding you with consequences if you don't turn up. No one can fire you. No one can bring you up to an investigation as to your performance. You are your own boss. You are your own motivation. And the only person who can fire you is you. So if you don't feel like working one day, there's no one to tell you otherwise. And when you're relying on online content, 
you often don't realise that the profits are falling until it's kind of too late to rescue it for a while. That doesn't mean it can't be rescued. It means you've got to really get going again and that can take time. Which is a scary prospect, but it means that you need to make sure that you enjoy what you're doing. This is the only way you're going to keep it up. So you need to choose the money-making activities that you enjoy doing, that you can show up to do every week, and is not going to become a chore that you try to avoid. And there are so many ways. There's ad revenue, sponsorship, and these all come in all sorts of forms. The courses, the memberships, I've mentioned them all before, but you can choose any of them. And it does take trial and error. You have to learn if you enjoy these things. You have to learn if you can deal with the tech. And these days, the tech isn't that big of a deal. Everything now is really quite easy. Drag and drop, just click and play. It is certainly an awful lot easier than it was just a few years ago. So if you're thinking, ah, I can't do the tech, that just means you haven't looked into it, I'm afraid. (laughs) It's all very simple once you actually realise what you need. But yes, all these options and new things can be very overwhelming. So how do you get past that overwhelm? Well, you need a support group. You need support. You need the knowledge. You need to know that you have someone at your back if you need a bit of help. And that's where coaching memberships such as the Hookers Academy comes in. So the Hookers Academy is my membership where I show you all these different options, how you can do them, how you can monetize them and the pros and cons. Now, nobody can tell you how to build your business. Because if anyone says they can do that, what they're really doing is showing you how they run their business. And that may not be for you. What I can do is show you your options, show you how you can make money from all these different activities, while also bringing you into our community so that you can take away the lonely aspect of running a business. And that's the other problem that comes with having crochet as your full-time job. When it's just you, it can be a lonely place. Your friends and family may well support you in running your business, but if they don't understand what you're doing, how you're doing it and how it brings money in, they can't be your sounding board. They can't give you the reassurance that you're on the right track or give you a bit of advice if you're struggling with a bit of something. Being in a community of other crocheters who are also on this same journey can be amazing. It can give you that reassurance. They can have your back and pick you up when you are down and act as a sounding board if you just need a bit of reassurance, or you just want a bit of advice. That community can be absolutely, it just changes everything. And it can really perk you up when you're struggling. I'm going to put the link to the Hookers Academy if you're interested in knowing more. But truth be told, you can find all your options just by Googling. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to tell you how to do it, but you can discover your options that are out there. You can see how others are earning from their crochet. And with so many ways, it's it's really only limited by your imagination. But whichever options you choose, you do need to get organised. Without the organisation and without the strategy of making sure all your different channels and content come together, it's going to be a bit of an uphill struggle. But it is possible. It is most definitely possible. 
but you do need to go online. You do need to have this recurring income from several different sources. You need several to protect yourself from economic downturns and changes in how people access content. But yes, you can make crochet your full-time job and you can earn a full-time income in just 10 to 15 hours a week. I don't know about you, but that is an amazing thing for me. And it can give you the freedom to do everything you've ever wanted, to spend more time with your family, to spend more time doing the things that you want to do, to take time off when you want without having to worry about your income or how much you're spending. And you can do it. As long as you have determination, the organization and the strategy, you can absolutely do it. So thank you for joining me. I'm going to put the links to the Hookers Academy in the show notes. And don't forget to follow the podcast so you can hear about the next episode when it's released. And if you'd like to join our free crochet cell support group on Facebook, then I'm going to put the link to the description to that as well. So thank you for joining me and I shall see you again for the next episode. Bye for now.